I say good day to you and welcome to the Field of Streams where I, your host Janine McRae, that's me, bring you the tiny thoughts that stream from my brain and present them to you as though they're the newly acquired ability to sleep with eyes wide open in boring meetings, register all the pertinent talk while in that sleep state and without ever waking, respond verbally and with dazzling wisdom when called upon. Mmm, promotion is imminent. Now, I can't promise you much with these little meeting invites, but I can promise you this. I will not keep you long. A promise like that deserves a follow, don't you think? Tap that follow button and get that raise. Okay, the episode. Here's a fun fact about me. I get excited when I stumble upon words I've never heard of before. The word that inspired me to write this post, which I found in an article I was reading, was flensing. Have you ever heard of that word? I had never heard of that word before, and now I am all up in its business. So what was the story about? Well, it was a long and deeply satisfying story about the search for a whale carcass to display in a lobby and the process of inspecting flensing, there's that word, and portaging a whale skeleton to achieve said goal. Flensing. Flensing means to slice the skin or fat from a carcass, especially that of a whale, or just skin and fat in a general sense, aka the skin had been flensed off. I'm making little rabbit ear quotation uh, marks in the air while I'm recording this, which is dumb because nobody can see me. The story, which again, deeply satisfying. If you want to go and read that, I'll put a link in the description. And it was called Bones, Bones, How to Articulate a Whale, with a secondary heading that read, I have sat inside her rib cage, and yet I know nothing about her. Doesn't that make you want to read it? Go read it. I recommend it. It is beautifully written. But like I said, hashtag long read. I won't give too much away about that story, but all the processes involved, the finding of, the measuring to make sure it will fit in the lobby, the flensing, the disassembly and reassembly, and getting it all put back together the exact right way. Hmm, does that sound similar to you, to the creative process? It sure did to me. And that's what I wrote about. Throughout this episode, you will hear me riffing on the line, call me Ishmael, from the greatest whale romp of all time, Moby Dick. And to that I say, yes, I do reference with nail and I, and sod your pheasants. I salute the one person who will understand that reference. (sighs) Where was I? Whale thematics, ahoy! But hey, let's stop and get on with flensing and articulating this whale of a post. Sit back, relax, and allow me to read to you a piece of my writing called How to Fit a Whale in Your Life Lobby. When it all comes down to it, after the hauling and cutting and hands in the goo, the eyeballing and rope length yardage and measuring intent, After the pooling of fluids and lingering odours, the headache logistics of bucketfuls of rancid oils that seep their excretion while ageing like a fine brine, I ask you, when it all comes down to it, will your dead whale fit in your looky-loo lobby? And by your dead whale, I mean the skeleton of it. And by your looky-loo lobby, I mean the memorial hall of achieved dreams in the natural museum of your whole damn life. I know what you're thinking. Wait, what dead whale? Where did it come from? Did I kill it? Did you kill it? Is this a murder scene? Good questions all. Shh. Let me drape your frightened mind in this weighted blanket and shush it quietly to a restful contemplation. Shipping Newsflash. This is your whale. It has always been your whale. You dreamed it all those years ago when you decided what you would create and make swim and glide and frolic and sing in the magnificent ocean of this world. And here it is. You built this whale from the bricks of your brain. Good work, you. Magic. But it's dead. No, it's not dead. It has passed. There's a difference. There are no nefarious goings-on here. 
Your dearly departed whale carcass made its long journey to the outside world and survived all the harpoons of criticism and jealousy to come back full circle to you. Mission deemed possible, it flopped its tired and blubbery body upon the shore of your attention and declared with intense finality, I have eaten all the krill, my master. Witness me. And witness it, you must. It is spent. Over. Done. There is nothing left but to roost it in the ceiling of your memory, to celebrate and toast its magnificent life. This whale before you was no white whale, no black hat villain out at sea dodging some arbitrary hate harpoon. It was a beautiful, fully formed, ten megaton dream with flappy fins and a great singing voice. So clang that bell first, mate. Get down to the depths of your uncle's sensational cellar and break out the wine, because it's horn blowholing time. Call me with now. By now you're probably saying, don't threaten me with a dead fish, to which I say a whale is a mammal, and that's your today I learned moment, as if you didn't already know that. But congratulations, I just wanted to say that. Congratulations on your past whale. You did it. It's important to have whale-sized dreams and be brave enough to release them from the oppressive sea world of your shyness. You shouldn't be surprised about your whale corpse. You said you'd be a star. You're a star. Maybe not in the traditional sense, but anyone who makes the thing and gets it swimming for however long it swims is, in my books, a star. Now all you have to do is figure out how to hang that skeletal token to triumph from up on high. I'm just letting you know in advance that there can be no true beauty without decay. Or to put it another way, knock knock, there's a Mr. Death at the door, and he's come about the flensing. Call me Dick Dale. Gather your slicing implements and colourful pails, and don't forget your sharpening stones, because it's time to articulate this whale. Flens and scrape and dismantle. Make haste, necropsy team. Pickle its shine in vodka. Carve meat from its bones. Log every little bacterial life form dining on its dead flesh and interpret the scene. Fill your buckets with shovelfuls of gloop as you bring order to the mess of its demise. Through treacherous and at times unfriendly waters, this dream, your dream, swam long, hard and afraid. You must absorb all the lessons of this whale of a project. What are its merciful eyes trying to tell you, Miss Lou? Move your fingers fast as you pick apart this denizen of deep thought. Get to the body quick so that you may honour long. In the process, you will inevitably gut yourself. You will use your own baleen to filter out the lessons of its life to bolster yours. You will let your insides become outsides and release the tension that came from creating the dream of this whale. And so it shall be done. The dream was real. What a triumph. Call me Jump Bail. Every whale that washes up upon your shore, every project that swims its swim and escapes to freedom, is a win that can only be judged by you, its creator. You are not on trial, but your sentence is ongoing. Keep releasing things to the ocean. Take your time, mount your defence and prosecution, but don't stress the verdicts. The most important thing is that you dreamt this giant into existence, and its existence proves what you've known all along. You are no blowhole, no fluke, no breach of creative etiquette. You are a creator of whales. Have the dream, achieve the dream. Plenty more pods in the sea, as they don't say, but should. Articulate your inner whales, and when you find your magnificent leviathan stretched out in peaceful final slumber upon the shore, its breaching done, its tail slaps and songs sung, honour its life and nab this moment before it fills with gas and floats away. They may call you crazy. They may call you a complete and utter nutter. They may even call you a doctor. Pay it no mind. I know what I call myself when it comes to celebrating my return to Wales. They call me Never Fail. And 
there you have it, today's episode. If you enjoyed this episode and would like to hear more in the future, please be sure to follow the podcast so that you never miss one. But I won't keep you any longer. I'm going to leave you with this. Love what you love, and I'll see you out there making stuff.